if you had already created your first campaign, well done. You've taken the first step. Now, let's review again. This was the same example in the previous video where I created a conversion campaign on how uh, to get leads for this upcoming live event. All right, so by clicking this, and then we'll check it out. There's only one ad set. This was exactly what I created, and this is running on a budget of $5 a day. Now, the question is that you probably want to duplicate the ad set and target other types of interest, and that's okay. All right, a lot of people do that. It's quite normal to have multiple ad sets in one campaign. So in this campaign, we're targeting the real estate uh, interest with mid value goods. And let's just say you're gonna target another keyword or detailed interest, all right? So here's how to duplicate the ad set and still target the same ads. So what do I mean by saying that? I'll show you in a while. And like I said previously, a lot of people make this mistake and I'll tell you what that mistake is, okay? So right now, just follow me on this and listen carefully, all right? What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna click on duplicate, all right? Original campaign, let's just leave it be. All right, so right now you see that there's a duplicate of this campaign here. And the name of the ad set is the same name except there's this word uh, hyphen copy right in front. Now ad set name is something I'll change last. Let's just go down and see what we're gonna change, all right? Conversion, website lead, let's leave that alone. Dynamic creative, leave that alone. Offer, leave it alone. Budget and schedule, you may choose to leave it alone as well. So normally if I'm gonna do $5 a day for per ad set, I'll just have half several of them that way. Next up, let's go to audience, custom audience, let's leave it alone. Location, in this case, because this is about a property and I wanna get people around the vicinity to come to our uh, free talk, I'm gonna leave this alone as well. And age and gender and language, let's leave it alone. So the only thing that we're really gonna change here is just the detailed targeting and we're gonna find another uh, detailed interest. So that took me a while, and after putting in a few detailed targeting, we are able to reach a potential reach of 320,000 people. So it's okay, but like I said, this is just an example I'm showing you right now. Again, ideally, I would like to put in like 350,000 people to a million people, all right? So this takes a while to actually hone down, and uh, you might also wanna take a look at suggestions as well. You can see, uh, what other suggestions we could come up with as well. Okay, so we have like real estate entrepreneur and let's see how many we can get right now. Ah, 400,000 people. So by putting in a few of these data targeting, you can put in suggestions and then Facebook will help make the suggestions for you, all right? So let's just say this is the data targeting that we want and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the rest alone, edit placements, yep, everything except audience network. Conversion, seven days click. So what seven days click means is that if someone takes action after seeing the ad and goes to your website, but only takes action within the seven days, then you will record the action as a lead. Okay, you can see how smart Facebook is, right? So let's rename this ad set to what it is right now. So I know I'm aware that there's a lot over here. So normally I just pick one of them. I'm just going with income property. Okay, so We've got potentially 400,000 people, and this is what the ad set is. So I'm gonna click Publish. You can see that took quite a while, and it took me like, I think probably a minute for the whole thing to get approved. So if you see some slowdown, uh, don't be alarmed. I think Facebook is just heavy on the engine in the back office, so don't worry about it, okay? So right now, as you can see here, we already have two ad sets spending $5 a day each, and that is a total of $10 a day, all right? You can create more ad sets if you want, and that depends on your uh, budget and your risk appetite, okay? 
Now, what's interesting is that this also has three ads in the ad set, and this is quite identical to the ads that I created earlier in the other video. So this might look very familiar to you. So you think we're pretty much done here, right? Not quite. Now you see, even though the ads are the same, but in actuality, they're just duplicates. And what happens is that a lot of people, they don't know how uh, the ad sets actually work, or rather the ads in this case. What happens is that when they have all these ads running and when people start to like and comment, and then they will see another similar ad but without the history of it because they are actually different ads all together. Alright? So I'm going to say it again because this is a part that a lot of people don't understand. Like let's just say for example this ad is running and I think the best way for me to show you is by clicking on this thing at the top right. Click on Facebook post with comments. Okay? I'm going to show you something very interesting and you'll understand why I'm very particular about it and a lot of people especially there's some social media agencies they don't even know they were doing this ad it's kind of asinine if you think about it all right so what I just did here is that I'm going to the other ad set and I'm going to show you a very identical ad because it's basically just a copy all right so what you want to do is click on this window over here at the ad preview and then select Facebook post with comments okay so you can see here that these are same ads, right? They all look the same, right? But here's the problem. If you pay attention to this browser at the top, look at this um, post number, okay? 19360064331563468, okay? You can see that this is different, all right? This ends with 1630, this is 6346. You can tell that these are two different posts even though they are the same okay so what happens is that when you run ads and people comment like and share that normally happens uh, throughout time all right they might comment on this post and there's a history on it but this ad will have nothing all right it's a different ad altogether even though it looks the same all right so you can run ads for a long time but you don't build up that social proof and it's going to be a waste Again, I know I'm not really the kind of guy who believes in getting a lot of likes just to get a sale, but if you're going to be paying that kind of money to uh, have the ad run for a considerable amount of time, I think you will definitely want to build your social proof. So here's what you can do right now. I'll show you what you can do. Okay, so from now on, what we're going to do is that we're going to go to the original ad set that I created, and this is this one, and go to ads. Let's start off uh, chronologically from first image at number one, two, and three. So let's go with the first one, and we're gonna click on this uh, icon over here at the ad preview. Click Facebook post with comments. It'll open in a new tab. Let's do the same for the other one as well. And also the other one, all right? So there's a total of three. Here's what's gonna happen, okay? We're going to go back to this ad set. We're going to go to the second ad set that we had just duplicated. All right, let's take this and go back to this one. Now, we're going to go through this one by one. Let's go off with ad one, image one. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click on use existing post. Enter post ID. All right, there's no way you can select any of this past what I call the uh, post, by the way. It's not going to be accurate, so don't do that, okay? Now you're gonna post the ID over here. So let's go back to the tab that we had just created. Select this post ID over here. All right, copy, and then we're gonna paste it here. All right, click submit, and it's gonna get updated, all right? So even though it looks the same, but right now this post is the same as the other one, so we don't have to worry about duplicated ads from now on, okay? In fact, this is just a one-off for this ad set, and when you duplicate this ad set again, you don't have to do that again anymore. Okay, you can be very sure by clicking back on this uh, icon here next to the ad preview and see whether the post number is correct. Is this identical with this one? Yes, it is. So I'm jumping two different tabs right now and they are the same ad post. That's just wonderful. All right, save you some trouble over there. Let's go to image number two. Let's do the same thing. All right. Click on use existing post, enter post ID, and then let's look for this post here, all right? That's the correct one. Let's copy this 
paste it, uh, copy this code over here after post paste it here submit and we're done with this one okay let's just click publish for this and let's do the same thing for the last the third and the last one you will do this the same for any number of ads you create and like I say after this ad set if you duplicate it again you wouldn't have that problem anymore all right I think you figured out the times of charm let's do it copy the post uh, link up here with this numbers all right go back here click use existing post and the post ID paste it submit okay that's all there is to it this is how you can quickly and accurately duplicate your ad sets without uh, creating multiple different types of ads and like I said that's just not really a smart way of going about doing it and I've just uh, saved you some trouble over there with social proof and that's all there is to it